There are many signs that can clue you in on whether your partner is cheating on you. And I'm not talking about the one cliche that you see in the movies all the time where the husband comes home smelling like cigarettes or perfume or has lipstick on their collar, which obviously is an alarming sign. But today I'm going to share the 10 most common signs that your partner may be having an affair. And I will start by saying that it almost always starts with a gut feeling. So pay attention to your intuition. It is a really valuable tool. And I also have to add the disclaimer that your spouse could display most or all of the signs I'm about to tell you and not necessarily be cheating on you. There could be other sign things at play. So please keep this in mind. Don't jump to conclusions and proceed with caution. So here are my 10 most common signs that your partner may be having an affair. Number one, their work schedule has suddenly changed. So if your partner is always working late now or are telling you that they have to go on these business trips where they've never had to travel for work before, especially on the weekends, this could be a sign that there is someone else. Number two, they are unreachable for periods of time. So have you noticed that there are long periods of time when your spouse is unreachable or unresponsive to your texts? When a spouse is having an affair, they will most likely not answer your calls or your texts. But of course, there may be legitimate excuses like they may be in a business meeting or perhaps they were driving when you text or attempted to call. But if this becomes a regular occurrence, and particularly if they're not responding to your calls or texts whatsoever while on this business trip, this is an especially bad sign. Number three, the emotional intimacy has lessened or disappeared. If you notice that your partner has suddenly become distant and seemed to avoid any intimate conversations with you, or you feel that it's like they stop noticing you or they seem to have no interest in your life anymore, this is a bad sign because emotional trust and intimacy usually grow over time in a healthy relationship and marriage. And likewise, if they seem to not want you to be emotional, vulnerable and intimate or share with them either, that's a strong indication that their focus has shifted elsewhere, probably to someone else. Number four, they are clearly bothered by you now. So if you are finding that your spouse has become very irritable or snippy with you, and they have become so judgmental and nitpicky with you that you feel that you can't seem to do anything right by them anymore, this is a very bad sign. Number five, was your partner once affectionate or touchy-feely but no longer shows any sort of affection towards you? and in fact, they seem to push you away at your very touch, this is a really bad sign. Now, of course, when relationships get past that honeymoon phase and things settle down where you love and trust one another, oftentimes you, your partner, or both might feel that or find that you're not as affectionate as you were in the beginning. However, there is a very big difference between normal settling down and just completely flatlining. Number six, they have lost interest in sex. So if the sex has decreased or disappeared altogether, or they seem to have developed ED, this could be a sign that they are sleeping with someone else and therefore are no longer interested in you. But again, I have to mention that although ED can be a sign of infidelity, it could also be a result of physical or psychological issues. So a doctor or therapist should be involved here. Number seven, they are suddenly worrying about their appearance. So if your spouse starts eating healthy, working out suddenly, or worrying about their hair or how they dress, this may be a sign that they are trying to look good for someone else, or maybe for you. However, are they the type of person that usually hang out in dress down clothing like sweats or jeans and t-shirts, but you notice that they are dressing up and smelling good when they go out now? Or have you looked in their drawer and found that they bought new underwear or sexy new lingerie that you have yet to see? Yeah, this is a bad sign. Number eight, 
they are out with friends often now. If your partner is going out all the time, staying out late or all night long, and they just tell you that they're hanging with the guys, not a good sign. Number nine, their phone has become like Fort Knox. I remember this one. Are you noticing that your spouse is suddenly very guarded about their cell phone and computer? It's like they feel they need to guard their electronics with their lives all of a sudden. Like for example, they can't even put their cell phone down on the table to go to the bathroom or to take a shower anymore. And have you also noticed that they have added passwords to their cell and laptop where they've never done that before? And have they suddenly started deleting texts and clearing their browser history on a daily basis? I mean, come on. There's really no reason for your spouse to go through these measures unless they're trying to hide something from you, right? And number 10, you are noticing unusual bank or credit card activity. So maybe you've been paying your bills or going through your credit cards and are starting to notice strange charges here and there on your statements, like charges to restaurants or places you never visit or charges to gift shops or lingerie stores. Or are you noticing large cash withdrawals that they've never mentioned to you before? Or have you found a secret credit card? Yep. This is another really bad sign that you need to discuss with your partner right away. Again, it is important to remember that you could have found all of these signs with your partner and they could still not be having an affair. But if that's the case, the fact still remains that these are indications that something is very wrong. It could be something is wrong with your marriage or it could be something that has nothing to do with you or your marriage at all. Either way, you need to sit down and calmly speak to your spouse. It is so crucial that you communicate because if this is left unaddressed, it would lead to a fast deterioration of your relationship. So if this is where you are, you and your spouse really need to sit down and have a serious conversation about this. And furthermore, your partner could be exhibiting none of these signs and still be cheating. Yes, I know, it's crazy. They could be an absolute master con artist. And with today's technology and some software that aids in covering up a cheating partner's tracks, anything is possible. But look, I have to end this with a personal note. Despite the fact that my own marriage ended because of my husband's infidelity, I am still a firm believer that trust is one of the most in health important ingredients in a healthy marriage. Let me say that again. Trust is one of the most important ingredients in a healthy marriage. Without trust, a relationship will simply not survive. So please make sure that you are not jumping to conclusions about your partner make sure to communicate with them often. And if you already know that your partner is having an affair and you don't know what to do, make sure to watch my next week's video. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Take care.